Welcome back to Infigyan, my dear friends, in this very exciting and challenging video of trigonometric expressions. Here we have to simplify 1 over tan x plus cot x plus sec x plus cosec x whole square. So let's get it started by considering given expression equal to E first. Now I will call this bracket equal to A. So ultimately we have to calculate A square. Let me write A separately. So A will be equal to 1 over. I will write tan x plus cot x plus sec x plus cosec x. Now we know that tan is sin over cos. Let us write. Tan I will be writing sin x over cos x. Cot we can write cos x over sin x. Sec we can write 1 over cos. And cosec will be the reciprocal of sin. It is CSC. Now if you will notice the denominator's denominator. So it is cos x written, sin x written. Again cos x, sin x. So let's multiply our numerator and denominator with sin x cos x. So here also sin x cos x. So once I will multiply, I will be having in the denominator cos x cos x will be cancelled out for first term multiplication. So sin square x will be left with this product. When I will be multiplying with second term, then sin x sin x will be cancelled out. Cos square x will be left with third term cos x cos x will be over only sin x will be left with four term sin x sin x will be cancelled out cos x will be left. So in denominator it will be in total sin square x plus cosine square x plus sin x plus cos x. Let us write a will be equal to sin x times cosine x divided by sin square x cos square x plus sin x plus cos x. Now I will write one very strong and powerful trig identity sin square theta or sin square x plus cosine square x equal to 1. Let's apply here. So our a will become sin x times cos x divided by 1 plus sin x plus cos x. Now I will consider rationalization. How it would be? Let me write a equal to sin x times cosin x divided by it is sin x plus cos x plus 1. Now multiply numerator and denominator by sin x plus cosine x minus 1. Here also sin x plus cosine x minus 1. So in denominator you can see if I will consider this is a, this is b, this is again a, this is b. So it is a plus b times a minus b. So in denominator we can write a square minus b square. In numerator sin x cos x times sin x plus cos x minus 1. Let's write sin x cos x times sin x plus cos x minus 1. In denominator I can write sin x plus cos x whole square minus 1 whole square. The difference of two squares identity. It is equal to a. Now I will expand denominator. So let me write sin x cos x times sin x plus cosin x minus 1 divided by a plus b whole square. 
सो साइन स्क्वायर एक्स प्लस कॉस स्क्वायर एक्स प्लस टू साइन एक्स कॉस एक्स और साइन टू एक्स माइनस वन नाउ इन दिस प्लेस अगेन आई कैन राइट वन सो दिस वन विल बी कैंसल्ड आउट विद दिस माइनस वन नाउ आई विल बी राइटिंग ए इक्वल टू साइन एक्स कॉस एक्स टाइम्स साइन एक्स प्लस कॉस एक्स माइनस वन ओवर टू साइन एक्स कॉस एक्स नाउ वी कैन कैंसल साइन एक्स कॉस एक्स सो सिंप्लीफाइड ए विल बी साइन एक्स प्लस कॉस एक्स माइनस वन ओवर टू साइन एक्स प्लस कॉस एक्स माइनस वन डिवाइडेड बाई टू Let us consider here साइन x प्लस कॉस x माइनस वन ओवर टू नाउ अवर एक्सप्रेशन वॉज ई इक्वल टू ए स्क्वायर नाउ वी हैव टू कंसिडर दिस होल स्क्वायर सो आई विल राइट साइन x प्लस कॉस x माइनस वन ओवर टू होल स्क्वायर So I can write e equal to sin x plus cos x minus one whole square divided by two whole square. It would be four. Now I will write one algebraic identity a plus b plus c whole square. This formula is a square plus b square plus c square. Plus two ab, plus two bc, plus two ca. Let's apply. E is sin x plus cos x minus one whole square by four. So I will write here sin x plus cos x minus one whole square. Divided by four, so I am writing one by four. Equal to one by four. Let's apply a square. So I will write sine square x plus b square cos square x plus c square minus one square is plus one plus two ab. So I can write two sine x cos x plus two ca. So it would be Minus two sin x. If I will write two bc also, then minus two cos x. Now I can consider sin square x plus cos square x one. Then one plus one is two. So let me write directly. It would be one by four in bracket two plus two sin x cos x. Minus two sine x, minus two cos x. Now you can see two is common. Let's take two common out. Two by four. In bracket it would be one plus sine x cos x, minus sine x, minus cos x. Now. From second and third term, I can see sin x is common. Let me write here once. So expression e will be equal to one by two in bracket. I will write it was one plus sin x cos x minus sin x then minus cos x. Now from these two terms. I will take sin x common out. So I will be writing e equal to one by two in bracket one plus sin x in bracket. I will write cos x minus one. And last term is minus cos x. So I can write one by two in bracket. Consider first and last term all together one minus cos x. Plus 
if i will take minus common from this bracket so i can write minus sin x in bracket 1 minus cos x now 1 minus cos x is overall common so i can write 1 minus cos x and then 1 minus sin x would be there so our final answer for this question will be e equal to 1 minus cos x times 1 minus sin x over 2. This is our simplification result and this brings the end of this video. Thank you friends for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck. Take care of yourself. Bye bye.